today on Northwest X for making some cool grip tape art. YouTube, what's going on? Happy Halloween, it's Monday. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to do some really cool grip tape art. Um, not your average grip tape art either. This involves cutting it all up and putting it on here like a puzzle. So let me explain how I did this. I had purple, I had black grip tape. What I did first was I cut the purple all up in the rigid, sharp, triangular pieces. I got some squares in there, it doesn't really matter. And then I did the same with the black. And then once I was done cutting them all out, began placing them on here. And this is where the really challenging part came in because it's like a puzzle, you gotta match them all in here. I tried to keep like a little like a millimeter or so gap between each piece, but I think it looks pretty cool. It almost looks like a broken window. Um, it's like a shattered piece of something. And uh, I really like it because it's not your average grip tape, obviously. I could have just put the purple grip tape on here and maybe did some art on there, but I wanted to do something different today for Halloween. I love the three color tone in here. You got the black, purple, and then the orange behind it. So next time you got some grip tape, don't just put it on your skateboard. Uh, chop it up and do something like this. You can do whatever you want. You can do circles, you can do squares, triangles, diamonds. I thought diamonds would be really cool that you put on here. But yeah, it's very easy to do. Um, I recommend using a um, pair of scissors to chop up your grip tape. Don't use a razor blade or an exacto knife because um, it's gonna take you longer. Scissors are faster. Make sure when you are using your scissors that they're not the best pair in your house because they're gonna probably ruin the scissors. It, uh, the sandpaper, the grip tape really um, scratches the scissors up and makes them pretty dull afterwards. So. Then after that, yeah, all you gotta do is uh, just like normal grip tape, pet it all down and trim the excess off, and this is what you got. So overall, a really cool, easy DIY project that you guys can do any day. Uh, so what I would say, next time you guys have a skateboard, brand new skateboard, and you guys can apply some grip tape on there, don't just put it on there. Uh, be a little bit different. Maybe get some colored grip tape or whatever. It doesn't have to be colored, but. This one looks pretty cool with the two different types of grip in there, so... Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't have anything really special for Halloween today. I really did think for a long time and wasn't able to come up with anything, unfortunately, but... I thought I'd share this with everyone. If you guys have any questions or need help on doing this, uh, leave them in the comments below. Of course, let me know what you think on this skateboard custom grip job right here. And uh, give this video a thumbs up and share this video and you're qualified in our Sunday skateboard at giveaway, so... Give me some feedback on the grip tape art right here today. And uh, good luck to everyone on Sunday. I hope you guys all have a great, awesome, safe Halloween. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow.